Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. I'm returning to the Pleiadians, and we're going to read a short channeling from the Pleiadians, The Dance of Dimensions, through Barbara Messiniak in her book, Earth, Pleiadian Keys to the Living Library. This particular book is amazing, has some amazing channelings in reference in particular to the concept of the living library and our place within it. The end of this has a sort of meditation which you might find to be very powerful. The dimensions dance. We remind you that Prime Creator makes up all the teams and if you're in Prime Creator's universe then you are on all the teams as well. You, as human beings, are the library cards, the keys to the living library. All the information stored in Earth's library is accessible through you. You were designed to be merged with, influenced, and emerged through. You have come here to master the human version of the spiritual evolutionary process, to live with it, to merge with many different realities and to allow realities to emerge through you. Eventually, you will become tuned into the consciousness of the Creator Gods from whom you have sprung. It will be like turning a radio dial to pick up a variety of frequencies. Allow yourselves to understand that the particular physical bodies you now occupy are sending and receiving centers broadcast units that exist in many realities. All creation is designed to be influenced, to be puzzle pieces that lock and fit with other pieces of the puzzle. As humans, you have been kept ignorant of how many appendages you have that lock you into other realities. You have no idea of the intelligent sources in other realities that tune into you and affect you. Nothing exists that is not part of the whole, and the whole as designed is a free will zone that creates an open-endedness of exchange and influence. Your task and responsibility is to make alliances and choices. Your parents may have said, play with good kids. Don't play with kids that hit, spit, bite, kick, or swear. You want to have good friends. They taught you how to pick your friends. Part of the parenting process was to teach you what to look for in people. Yet no one ever taught you how to make friends and alliances with the invisible worlds around you. As humans, your job is to own and take care of the living library. In the past, those who wanted to experience the living library would, with permission, look out of the eyes of human beings. As they looked, the humans would become the gods and goddesses in charge, the tour guides of this reality, so to speak. At one time, humans on Earth held very honorable and highly evolved positions. You had glorious, vibrant forms, emanating energy and light. Just as chefs have specialties in food preparation, humans had specialized ways of experiencing the living library and accessing information. Those who desired knowledge came to experience and discover the Library of Earth. They merged with humans who served as library cards into Earth and all Her Majesty, becoming one with other energies and allowing them to look out of your eyes in order to experience more was a divine purpose. Humans made themselves available for this process. Energies from faraway star systems that contributed to the library said you want to access the library to study some things and get some information. They needed to get permission and embody the love frequency in order to merge with humans. The humans knew they were having a merging of another sort, a meeting of the love frequency. The other energies used the bodies, eyes, senses, and entire beings of humans to check out the living library. Different humans had, of course, predilections of various aspects of the living library and visiting gods and goddesses, if you wish to call them that, had certain data that they were after. So it was quite an interesting job to be stewards of the living library because you didn't know what gods or goddesses were going to visit and go after what information. 
It was like being tour guides, and those who came in directed you to access the information they desired. The relationship was symbiotic, and its success was based on the love frequency. There is glorious information that is desperately needed in existence, and it is stored here on Earth. As the reorganization of light takes place on Earth, there will be a mass merging of beings who are very benevolent, very uplifting, and very loving. They will come through and operate out of your bodies. You will maintain your own integrity and your own identity. However, they will blend with you as we blend with our vehicle. They will be able to access the codes and master numbers that you'll house inside your bodies. As Earth is catapulted into a frequency that will allow the living library to come back into full function, necessary experiences will be shared by all. In order to once again become valuable assets as the keys who access the living library from many cosmic points of view, you will have 12 stranded DNA and full brain capacity. And in order for you to be in partnership as library cards, you must understand that you are more than human throughout existence where you are multidimensional in your truest form you have many different guises you are collections of sentient energies that are seated all over this universal system you make up one pool of consciousness that collects with other consciousness that has intents and purposes and that discovers things earth is on a course that is taking a radical change in direction she is experiencing an accelerated thrust in the ongoing evolutionary process. A cycle is coming to completion, and a new age or new theme is about to take precedence upon Earth. You are assisting this new age into being in society. Currently, humans barely understand that they live many times as humans, let alone that there are many more identities to the self. The self is a composition of many different life forms all making up a central soul. As earth is being catapulted in a new direction, the occupants may perish because they do not meet the new speed at which earth will vibrate, or they will begin the changes that will prepare them for the ability to blink on and off into the various personalities that make up the collection of the soul. You are forerunners in this and are meeting the portions of yourselves that are the most imperative for you to understand. There are many of these selves to meet. Remember, you are a part of a grander collective of intelligence that seeks to express itself in many realities. In order to further comprehend all the versions of reality, your central soul has many different personalities, tentacles, and outreaches. So do not think that you are goodies in all versions of reality. As a matter of fact, when you are a baddie, sometimes you gain more information than when you are goodies. When you are good people, sometimes you are so naive you have no idea what is happening. Your discoveries need not impact you with difficulty. Intend that they offer your interest, give you more knowledge, and do something very beneficial for you. You hide your own cleverness from yourselves. You must learn to monitor how you create your reality. How many dimensions of thought you are in and how you pretend that you are just hanging around waiting for something. The thoughts come racing through your heads second after second bringing all this information and you don't realize that you are creating your reality all of the time. You hide your beliefs from yourselves. You hide your power from yourselves. Remember you have been programmed as a species to believe in your own disempowerment through your television and educational systems. Do not fall into the trap of thinking you only create your reality some of the time, while at other times in certain situations you have no power. You must remember the vastness of your experience. You must remember that you make certain agreements to participate in things that seem to be difficult or bad. In actuality, uplifting events are very often behind experiences that you term difficult. Remember, there is opportunity in all things that you create. You are game masters yourselves. Those who orchestrated the reestablishment of Earth's freedom and the seeding of civilizations. These civilizations became alive and activated and now you are living in one of the most exciting places and times of existence. There are many who support you and wish to merge with you, operate through you, and give you a hand with the job in front of you. You do not have 
to read a lot of text and balance a lot of computer sheets to carry this job out. All you need is to trust yourselves and design your reality according to your own wits by intending what you as humans want to accomplish. Whatever you intend to make as your signature, your mark in this world, it shall be so dream big. Human beings as library cards access unique information that is very different from the information experienced through the insect, plant, or animal kingdoms. The living library was designed to be merged with and by actually emerging through its life forms, other beings can experience a version of Earth's reality and gather information. The intent of what is sought results in the choice of the merging that is made. Humans are coded to give full accessibility to the living library. When other energies merge with humans, formulas and blueprints can be found that will not find merging with frogs, for example. Humans have been used as library cards by energies that do not operate with full understanding of the human vehicle, and this has caused imbalance and insanity in humans. Though certain entities intend harm to humans, many cause harm only by their ignorance. Preparation of your bodies to receive the energy of merging, setting your standards for what you are available for, and discernment are essential. Remember you have the assistance of the higher self, the version of you that navigates your experience through the universal laws of cause and effect. The higher self also acts as a gatekeeper and social secretary regulating the appointments you set into motion because on your actions and belief in 3D as reality is continuously translated from one domain to another. The conjunctions of Uranus and Neptune in 1993 as a galactic tidal wave of light sent a bolt of electrical current onto your planet and activated the potential for the third helix in humans. It triggered the light encoded filaments to draw together and bundle that third helix. This bridged the electrical current inside your bodies that will access the self you know to the multidimensional self. You are in for vastly accelerated times. You are each of you a personal energy vortex. As you play this 12 chakra game with us, you open your chakras and create doorways through which all of your unlimited number of multidimensional personalities operate. These personalities can then blend and become one harmonious unit. There are versions of yourself that feel out of sync with you, and when they come in, your challenge is to learn how to teach them to be in sync in order to create this harmonious unit. You must know in the deepest core of your being who you are and what your standard is as a third dimensional personality becoming multidimensional. As you set that standard, your experience and all the beings who wish to merge with you align with that choice. When you are experiencing a multidimensional merge, it is a good practice to say, hey, listen, I'm working for the improvement of the human race. Since I am one of them, I'm looking to evolve myself to have greater abilities and to have greater ease. I intend to use these abilities in a way that benefits myself, all the people I'm in contact with, which is the whole human race and this planet, Mother Earth, which gives us a place to evolve. If another energy doesn't fit with that agenda, it will depart or best be ready to change and reconsider. Often an energy has come to be healed to seek love and to learn what it doesn't know. You are like a candle flame and the versions of yourself are drawn to you like insects. They fly into the fire and you transmute them and they are reborn. You can say, it is my intention to have a greater understanding of how to utilize these multidimensional experiences. It is my intention to find out how much more about how I can benefit myself and how I can have more fun with this. This sets the tone of the experience through intention. Intention is a conscious statement of what you want to manifest into reality. Therefore, if you want anything, intend it first, for this is how you bring about your reality. You are living in a time when reality is being redefined, and you are the one redefining it. Follow yourself into an adventure of exploration by decreeing what you want, and then asking for information and assistance to interpret what you experience. What does it mean? to be a library card. It means that you are on your first step towards certification, toward understanding, bonding, blending, and merging with other energies and allowing them to emerge through you into the living library. 
When you reach certain states of consciousness, you emit an electromagnetic pulse, like a radio program, that others can tune into. You then become very valuable because you can be merged with and others can access the codes. The codes contain formulas for replicating life. Many safeguards were designed so that the most important data stored in humans exists and is accessed only through a certain state of consciousness. Without that, the formulas do not even present themselves into being. The formulas exist through a preservation of a high level of consciousness within humans. If quality of life and existence is tampered with, humans are not able to produce the formulas. We are asking all of you to feel the energy of these beings who wish to merge with you. Ask them to give you a sign, say, my work is for my own upliftment and that of the planet. If you are in alignment with this, welcome. If you are not, don't even come around. I'm not available for this kind of nonsense. You need to state this. You can also say energy wishing to work through me. I am willing to be one of your life manifestations on the planet. I want to learn who you are and understand you. I intend to be energized by your presence. If you have abilities to access energy that I do not have, and I am willing to make room for this energy in my body, share these abilities with me, please. If the energies appearing don't appeal to you, don't be afraid to say the doors are closed. You are not my cup of tea. I'm going to find someone else. You will find someone else because your standard will create your experience. Once you are comfortable with establishing friendships with the so-called invisibles, you may further understand and explore the not my cup of tea types. All indeed are part of the whole relationship. Be more in charge. There are many things that are necessary to prepare your body to accommodate awareness of multidimensional energy yoga, stretching, breathing, and algae and herbs to supplement your body create room for energy to operate. A body is needed that accommodates the vibration of multidimensional intelligence, so perhaps some of your work involves this preparation. Question the energies that want to work with you. On earth it is considered rude to question a god or goddess, just as it may have been rude to question an adult when you were a child. Children are meant to be seen, not heard. As children of the gods, you apply the same invisibility and an unquestionable seniority principle. We are suggesting you question everything, including whatever we say, for not only do you have the right to question, you have the responsibility. This is key to being sovereign, owning your own body, and commanding your reality into being. Learn to create spirals that come out of your solar plexus and reach into the vision of your various selves. You will find that the spirals will connect with your purpose. Do not judge the selves that you see from your third dimensional point of view, for judgments create traps and loops of reality that repeat the same theme in different costumes throughout time. One of the agreements that many of you made was to move beyond judgment on this journey, and it is essential to maintain that stance. Your multidimensional selves can harass you into evolution. You are your own light and you are your own shadow. Of course, you play the game that you are separate. You play the game now that you are a member of the family of light and you are a good guy. We say there are teams, light t-shirt teams and dark t-shirt teams, and you may like to think that you are only a white t-shirt. We remind you that Prime Director makes up all the teams, and if you are in Prime Creator's universe, then you are on all of the teams as well. Your natural state of being and what you are evolving towards is a multidimensional character who will be able to make peace on this planet and take that peace into other worlds as well. Remember, peace involves a decision that is a standard chosen for your life. Someday there will be many parallel memories to integrate and ideas that suddenly emerge. You will realize there are layers and layers of yourself experiencing while a portion of you is so certain nothing is going on. These layers of reality are beginning to split and fragment and you are moving into new aspects of your abilities and expression. Now, the trick is to catch these things to spend more time pursuing what you have been inspired to discover over the years. You've come here to change the probabilities of Earth. You do things out of your body much more than you are aware. The day will come when you are suddenly aware of where you visit when you take a nap, days off, or go to sleep. Eons ago, it took great training to develop these skills. Today, you are being flooded with light continuously, and the more light you have in your body, 
the more the reorganization of your greater identity is stimulated. Throughout this process, maintain a strong sense of self, the being that you are now. Hold a sense of love and well-being for the vehicle you have created. Do you think that Earth is going through this change with no benefit to anyone? There are millions who are waiting patiently for Earth to become light, so that they can, with love, come in and access what is here and change the course of events in order for you to reach that place of valuableness. The knowledge of who you are must be realized and felt by all. Energy is being sent to Earth to create a stirring and a change from deep within. This is part of the design of the times, and as it comes together, you start to know, to remember, and to feel suddenly nothing is the same anymore. This memory that is being stirred up inside of you can create bodily reactions because it dwells in the cells of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. And it needs to be understood. You are growing into another new and you are building the framework. We encourage you to have your body adjusted through whatever modality of experience suits your fancy. You could use shiatsu massage, rolfing, rebirthing, or some method through which you are able to access all your bodies, mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional. Use these methods to move energy beyond any place it may have become stuck. We recommend that you drink great amounts of water, spend time breathing and oxygenating, detoning and practice allowing unlabeled sound to express itself through your body. Keep your body active and alive. Spend time communicating, meditating with peace, and listening to whatever is speaking to you from the inside. Weave your discoveries into the structure of your life and intend along the way what it is that you want. You can play like a child with these games and have a good time doing so, yet understand that on a deeper level you are exploring and practicing the art of shamanism, the ability to understand and affect many worlds. The shaman does not live in one world as you learn how to evoke the assistance of other worlds and creatively exchange energy through harmony and cooperation, you change. Always return to your home station, the you of Earth, as a strong, singular identity who is discovering the unfolding relationship to all that is. You are being tested to see how consistent, reliable, and stable you are. For during the next 20 years, you will be shocked by the anomalies appearing from other dimensions. Various dimensional doorways are wide open and are leaking, moving, and shifting things that were kept separate. So you may discover objects, creatures, creations, and events that have no business being where they are. You may find creatures considered extinct returning, animals suddenly disappearing without a trace, and different varieties of vegetation appearing all over the planet. Personal effects, things that you own, may just disappear one day, slipping through a crack. These are a few of the anomalies that will occur as you reconsider who and what you are in relation to all that is. It is much easier for you to be influenced by negative thought forms now than ever before. Why? Because people are creating more negativity than ever before. Do your newspapers encourage you to go into joy or negativity? The higher frequency of energy coming to the planet is causing the shattering of the astral realm, which is so overloaded with thought forms of fear that it cannot accommodate itself any longer. The crash of the astral realm and its own population explosion is definitely intensifying the planet. People are more frightened and feel as if there is a heavier burden. Thought forms seek to attach to negativity, meaning that you often have woe rather than joy and worry rather than upliftment, trust, and divine nonchalance. However, this is a matter of choice. What do you want to choose? What is your focus going to be? Clarity is the name of the game here. If you make yourself available without clarity, it is very easy to attract energies that will not accommodate your vibration. This does not mean that those energies are bad. It simply means that they resonate out of sync with your vibrational intent, which may of course be unclear to you. When you are not firm in the stance of yourself, confusion occurs because the energies are not integrating. Your emotions create the quality of your experience as the thought forms hanging out with you. Acting happy and perfect all the time is not the solution. 
Allow yourself to move through emotional experiences and learn from them. Dark moods and energies that you hold on to become habits or patterns that can create extreme difficulties. You can become what we call a cosmic hooker, an open doorway to any and all unqualified energies. Knowing that the prime creator is in all things, this indeed can create a dilemma. Be aware that you are unfolding into the process of self-discovery in relationship to all that is. As reality and ideas emerge through you, you will be able through love and compassion and understanding to experience more of the great duality and polarization that characterizes an aspect of existence. The key is to enjoy the journey of discovery and find the jewel within it. Think of yourself as a doorway and your emotions as guardians that determine the kind of energy that is allowed onto the earth plane at this time. Because you are the gatekeeper for other dimensions, you must love yourself, for it is from yourself in this reality that you operate. The physical body you occupy represents your home station. The entire history of your physical body has brought you to this precise point of awareness where you realize that you are significant. Your body is your vehicle of conveyance, your Mercedes, and there is no trading it in, at least not on this round. You are the one who defines your boundaries, the one who says, this feels good and this does not. This is okay and this is not. Learn to operate without guilt by loving yourself and trusting that whatever you create holds an opportunity for your spiritual growth. Every single thought that you think comes into life and form, as if you are a baker kneading dough and shaping cookies. Every time you think of something, a thought form is released into being. This thought form works with you and gains vitality throughout the ethers of mass thought forms. What you set into motion is what you will experience, for good or ill. You are the creator. Now perhaps you realize the depth of what you set into motion through your basic thoughts and beliefs. It does not pay to be jealous, nor to energize hate, revenge, or any of these things, because when you give them life, they come back to haunt you in order for you to personally experience your creative force. When you love your body and yourself, you come to a certain conclusion about what you are available for. You learn to call the shots concerning what your own molecules are available for as your intention is shouted from the cells of your being. We are teaching you the rules of ownership. You must become sovereign in order to be strong enough to house a meeting of your multidimensional self. If your vibration of intention is clear and powerful, something that will not match this cannot even be magnetized to you. Remember, you each create your own reality in your own version of beliefs. Energies live off your vital force, the kundalini energy that nestles at the base of your spine and rises upward, ideally throughout your entire physical body. Often the closest people get to understanding kundalini is the passion of sexual desire. Remember this force that is called sexual desire can create life. In its own way, your passion impregnates you and makes you bring life forward. This force, even though you are unaware of its vitality, and life-creating properties can be sucked away or siphoned off in many different ways. Your responsibility is to raise your kundalini through all your chakras, first through your body and then out, and to use this force to create. This vitality inside you gives you the courage, grace, and confidence to use your gardening skills to plant with your mind. Often people who are possessed are experiencing their own thought forms returning to them. Psychic attack involves people intentionally sending something at others to disturb them. Both parties are involved in creating the process. The sum total of any evolutionary journey is the integration of all things you have done and the acceptance of shadow and light. You must take responsibility for what you are creating. And how else can you take responsibility unless you know? Sometimes an energy that is wanting to let you know it is present will do something so that you recognize you are not in your normal state of being. In order to have you understand that a presence is there, it will exaggerate something to see if it can capture your attention. You can say, hey, all right, I know you're here. I got it. I feel your presence. 
You do not need to go to that extreme anymore. The energy will learn how to modify itself as it merges with you. You must keep your lines of communication open. Do not think that because the energy does not come before you in 3D, that it does not understand you communicating with it. In the realm of multidimensionality and merging, animals are adepts. Animals move through dimensions. Have you ever seen an animal or bird one minute and then next second it is gone? Animals are very concerned with the quality of life much more so than you are. When the quality of life is in question, the animals automatically migrate toward a more sustaining reality. They remove themselves into other domains of existence for they are programmed to survive. Animals are intelligent and flexible and have many more adventures than humans do. Animals don't need to build shopping malls, graveyards, watch television and movies, and distract themselves with superficial forms of entertainment. Do you think animals are ever bored? Do you think animals ever wonder what to do? They have many, many adventures that you are not quite capable of understanding, though you will one day. Insects and frogs, for example, open dimensional avenues with their sounds. Others may travel on sound. Everything dreams, journeying into many realities. You can best relate to the concept of dreaming knowing that when you sleep, you go into another world that does exist. Everything exists because it is connected whether memory is open or not. Beetles, earthworms, and frogs know they go from one reality to another. They go into other worlds, yet they are right here in this world. Insects are represented in greater numbers than any other class of animals on your planet, and they take up less space. They keep a balance, for without the insects, your planet could not be. Insects are multidimensional and act as unseen guardians for many worlds. Some of the creator gods are insect-like in appearance and character. There are people who have taken photographs and had encounters with beings who look partly human and partly like insects. The creator gods have duplicated themselves in many forms to be here as silent representatives of their own species. Insects work with you in a way you cannot conceive at this time. You think they just accidentally land or crawl on you when in actuality they are checking out your electromagnetic frequency. You do not look like yourself to insects. You are a force field. And there are certain parts of you that are very attractive to insects because of pheromones you give off. Perhaps when they give you a little nip here and there, you're getting used to their identity. There are many forms of life that will come to awareness and existence. You will want to capture these forms of life and put them in a zoo. To them, you are in the zoo like a prison, locked behind bars. They want to assist you and bring you back to interspecies communication. They are waiting to see if you can relate to particular animals or species. As you demonstrate your acknowledgement of intelligence in all forms of life, you begin to qualify as an ambassador or diplomatic representative of these various species. Life will become very strange indeed. When a frog makes a croaking sound, it creates an opening to other dimensions for the animal kingdom, for insects in particular, but for many members of the animal kingdom, frogs and insects keep frequency and have certain abilities. Frogs, when they croak in the stillness of the day or night, create a harmonic and a spinning momentum. Surrounding energies can move into this sound and experience what it is like to be other forms of life quite easily. All animals are much more in tune with multiple realities than humans are, and they can teach you about these realities. Some people are able to merge with animals and explore the animal kingdoms to discover what it is like to be in the living library. Many very intelligent forms of life can manifest themselves by merging with the animal and plant kingdoms. In this way, they can come peek into your reality. Now, these many intelligent forms of life want to merge with you, the library cards. The way they can access the library through you as humans is quite different from the way they can access the library by coming in as squirrels. You are complex. You have a tremendous amount of knowledge inside you. And as you prepare yourself to merge with other forms of sentient existence, you'll be able to bring peace to your planet. You'll be able to bring magnificent new upliftment, a new way of being, a new prayer. It will seem as if it is coming out of you, and yet you will know that it is more than you. Understand, there is a great intelligence in all life forms. And the experience of all life is waiting for you. Open your emotional cells and employ the vital force of love as key to your own spiritual evolution.
energy exercise. Place yourself in comfort and take a few deep, centered breaths. Relax and slip into the moment. Visualize yourself with a group of people you love and trust who are gathered together to open a light portal to meet other worlds. Imagine a pillar of light coming from above, penetrating your body and the group. On this pillar of light ride many energies that make an opening or doorway through which realities can meet. Send your intent to the opening of this portal and make your presence known. Signal all energies and realities that to merge with you a vibrational match is required to meet your vision of the love frequency as you presently understand it. Picture yourself with others in the group making a ring around this opening, standing arm in arm and hand in hand. You are all filled with joy and laughing over what you have accomplished together, feeling the unity that allows you to go further. Now, as a group, go through the opening in the portal of light. Go up and locate the place where your portal will connect you with other portals on your planet. Find yourself moving to other dimensional doorways and make rings of light. Take your light and weave it in as many portals as you can perceive. Broadcast the idea and imagine that in order for energies to enter onto earth, they must meet and match the frequency that you are discovering and holding the frequency of love. Picture yourself and the group all over the globe being scattered by the winds, creating the rings of light and feeling joined by other circles of light. You feel supported in the love frequency that you are now enamored of carrying. As you travel around your globe, forming these rings, feel the energies that support you in this. Feel beyond your planet. Feel who we are. Feel the Pleiadian energy infused and it folded into your personal chakra system. Let our love match the love frequency that you presently understand. Allow yourself for a few moments to feel supported, nurtured, and cherished by energies that honor your existence. We love the essence of your being. Image now a portal in your galaxy that we own and operate. As your Pleiadian friends, we act as gatekeepers for frequency that would pass through. Let us hold that portal open for you at this time and let love from other systems filter through. As the portals open up on your planet, feel that love filtering down. Picture rays of golden streaming light and feel all the cells in your body tingle. Feel embraced and surrounded by this light. Let this love enter the planet and remind all those who encounter it of an alternative way of living. Let it remind them of a new blueprint, a new ideal. In your own identity, the one that you are seeking to discover and understand, picture yourself now standing before a mirror. See your physical body change. See the molecules move as love transforms you. Hold this love, for it is your wealth and your value. This love is you in living form. Love that you are destined to hold is the key to uniting various factions of energy, to bringing these energies to a new creative expression for your universe. Imagine yourself weightless, moving through energy waves and opening doorways. Picture yourself in human form, catapulted into the forefront of existence, carrying a commitment of love. Take a breath, and as you breathe in, feel the love frequency all around you. It is being sent to every part of your body, and whatever you choose to do with it is up to you. Feel it fill you now with a rich calmness. Picture your planet encircled with love as it comes flooding through you while you hold your frequency over the portals around your planet. Now from wherever you are, picture yourself spiraling, spinning and turning as this spinning accelerates, moving faster and faster. Unite that spinning with your physical body wherever you are. 
feel that this love spins off of you and touches every form of life, everything that is created. Feel it spinning off of you, touching all things wherever you go. Picture that spinning getting faster and faster and picture your knowledge becoming clearer and clearer. Stay in that energy for a while. Feel that love. Seek it. Know it. Share it. Become curious about it. Want it. And it shall be yours. We trust that you know you change your world by every thought you express. We thank you for so willingly donating thoughts of love and peace to earth. It will affect all of existence. Now, I found this particular reading very interesting. Here, we get the understanding from the Pleiadians that they have a desire to take over our bodies, look out our eyes. So then you go back to the teachings of Carla Rucker, and you will have these psychic connections with higher beings. And you can be in full control of this when it happens. I believe that Barbara Messiniak did not follow her own suggestions. You can see what she has said later on after this book was written, and it appears she's not channeling the Pleiadians anymore. Sort of an opposing message that's more service to self. Make of it a, as what you will. When I read this information, it feels authentic. That's my own opinion about it. There is some really powerful teachings on how you create your reality. But really interesting aspect of this is the idea that there are invisible entities that want to integrate with you and that you are a library card. Not a person walking through the library, but you're the library card. So they use you to get this knowledge and information. You provide a resource for them. You're a library card, which is a really unusual and interesting sort of a symbol to use for what humans are. So it could have negative or positive consequences if you think about it. The living library that's being discussed by the Pleiadians is the social memory complex. They're calling for its formation. But who knows? Does this mean that other entities want to experience this reality through your body like you are the avatar? I don't know, but that's what this is implying. The energy exercise at the end is pretty powerful. So there's some really interesting little tidbits here about how frogs and other insects are guardians and can change dimensions. I would love to know what your impressions are, and I will certainly try to seek out some additional Pleiadian channelings. I find them interesting. You really should treat any channeling like this, like the Quo material, like Quo always says. Take the stuff that resonates with you. But if anything doesn't resonate with you, just forget about it. Just let it go. The Pleiadians and Quo are not claiming to be all-knowing of reality. They're bringing their own knowledge to this discussion. And it is your job to pick and choose. And ultimately, you are the judge of this sort of information. Let me know your impressions. In any case, all episodes of The Reality Revolution can be found at TheRealityRevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution.